everyone, Liam, the Death to Metalhead, and I'm doing a tape collection update. I've got a stack of nasty death metal, black metal, and death doom. So, like I said at the start of the year, I really wanted to get into collecting tapes because there's so many really cool EPs, demos, you, know, you name it, at a really good price because you can get it on wax and CD. But it doesn't really have the same feel for me. I quite I have this thing at the moment where if I want to listen to old school death metal or really raw underground death metal, it has to be in a cassette format because it just feels natural to me. Like you can have a nice fancy EP from like 1991 on like wax, but it just doesn't have the same feel as a cassette for me. And I've been going absolutely mental buying cassettes because I found so many I want, um, and some of these have cost a, you know a little bit more than I'd like to pay for shipping, but what you get in quality kind of makes you forget about that and a few of these labels are you know churning out some quality releases but again for people like me in the UK it's not an easy thing to get hold of but you know when you want it you've got to have it right so I'll kick off with an eBay find it was nice and easy this one I kind of just skimmed it for eBay found this one and it's always an album that's intrigued me never listened to it in my life and I bought it on a whim because I kind of like the artwork and you know I listened to it and I really enjoy it and that is the compilation album from Beherit. Now this is an unofficial fan club release, um, which I was aware of when I was buying it, you know, I didn't really care, I was just in it for the music, because I've seen this artwork before, and it's always intrigued me. It comes on this like white shell, bold red text there, but it sounds really, really good. Like there's nothing wrong with that tape whatsoever. And the J card is just simply the artwork like that, where they've put that down this line there. And then you've got lyrics, song title, should I say, and a picture of the frontman, I believe. I'm not sure. I don't know the history of the band too much, but they are a Finnish, one of the first Finnish black metal bands, but there's also a death metal influence in here. This is just raw, nasty, over the top music. You know, there's no melodies, there's no structure to it, really. It just goes. And I've listened to this quite a few times now, and I'm actually really, really getting into it. And I, I kind of knew I might do, because the artwork kind of told me I was. And I like Finnish death metal, and the whole scene over there is just killer. So I thought I'd give this a go. It came out in 1991, originally. Um, and it was officially released by... It does say in here, because I kind of copied it. It was done by Turbo Music. But then the story goes, reading up online, they also without the band's permission release something else and there's, there's all sorts of different versions of this but I can safely say this is an unofficial version and you know quality. Next one is one I got through Extremely Rotten Productions in Denmark there's a few of them in here quality label uh, run by a, oh, I forget his name but he's the front man for the Undergang and his shop just stocks some killer uh, releases that you just can't get over here unless you pay the silly money um, and I did, because I'm quite happy to, you know, if I want music, I will pay for it. And this is a demo, I believe Ken's Death Metal Crypt has it on his YouTube channel, the original version. And I was kind of aware of it, but a lot of people were talking about it, and I thought, I'll give it a go. Because someone said to me, it's Death Doom, you're going to like it, and they were spot on. And that is the 1991 demo from the band Maimed. This originally came out in, I think the early 90s, well yeah, it's obviously 91, dickhead. Um, but... They've been re-released last year through Dark Descent because it was never, nothing ever happened after this. The band kind of called it a day and there's only this um, demo of theirs with uh, five tracks and stuff like that on it. But this, this is probably the best demo in my collection now, hands down, it's that good. I've listened to this so many times, it's, it's just my kind of metal straight away. Like I said, it was done through Dark Descent. And this is just fantastic. If you can find a copy of this anywhere, in any format, pick it up straight away because it is a no-brainer. If you like the kind of music I like and you watch these videos, you're, you're safe with buying this. You don't even have to listen to it. I already know you'll like it. It's just riff after riff after riff and I keep flipping the tape every time it finishes. It's just brilliant. It's just so, so good. And I can't believe I've never heard of this before, but this is the only thing they've ever done. It's way ahead of its time and sound. There's no shit production on this whatsoever. It's really crisp really clear and yeah it's fucking awesome so go check that out maimed now the next three were brought through transylvanian recordings they are based out in california um done by a guy called james or jimmy depends what you want to call him and this is where i say about the postage being a bit silly it was a bit steep but 
you know, it's understandable depending on what state you're buying from, you're going to have to pay the big bucks to get stuff from America over to the UK or even into Europe. Um, and there was two tapes in particular that I really, really wanted because I listened to them on Bandcamp and I thought I have to have them. Um, but he also throwed in one for free, which I was actually going to put in my basket, but when I did, it kind of made it too expensive for me to do the deal. So when that arrived as well, I was over the moon. So the first one is an EP from this year. So this will feature in my end of the year EP list if I do do one. Uh, Brazilian Death Doom, uh, featuring members from a band that put out an album last year through Transcending Obscurity that I cannot for the life of me think what the band name is. But this is Fossilization with he whose name was long forgotten. This is just pummeling, caveman-esque, ritualistic sounding, really morbid death doom. Like, you know how Brazilian bands, well some of them, not all of them, kind of channel that inner kind of I don't know how to describe it really, it's kind of like a tribal thing almost, but you can really hear it in this music, it's really organic sounding, there's no overdubs or loads of mass production stuff that makes it sound too futuristic or too modern, it has that right blend of old school sounding death metal uh, with a real good atmospheric doom stuff thrown in, but it also sounds really organic, it doesn't sound forced or you know overproduced, I think that's probably the word I should have used, it came on this black tape now I know Everlasting Spew in Italy have put out the CD version of this, but I want the tape version because it just, like I say, tapes to me with this kind of style of death metal just, just work for me. But obviously if you don't have a tape player you can't fucking listen to them. Comes on this really cool J card with a picture of the band there, it's a two piece. But this is spot on, I, I'm absolutely loving this, this is so good, artwork like that. And you know. This will feature high on quite a few people's lists, I imagine, next the end of the year, because it is very, very good Death Doom. Um, there was a lot of hype behind it, and I kind of thought I might not like it, but when I had a listen on Bandcamp, I was sold straight away. You know, the hype is real. So, if you haven't checked that out yet, I strongly recommend it. I'll obviously leave links below to every band mentioned, as I always do. But yeah, very, very happy with that. The other one I wanted was this one. This was actually recommended to me by someone in the comments section years ago years ago, months ago, on one of my videos saying, check this out, you'll really like it. Now, the only thing I know about it is it's a one-man project by the guitarist from Jabalba, which is that kind of Mexicana American uh, death doom, hardcore, thrash, they do everything in their music, but it's more of a hardcore band with death metal and doom metal elements. But this project here is his one-man death doom project. I believe his character name for the band is the band name um, which means rack of skulls or something like that in his language I'm proper not into my knowledge of like other countries and stuff so you know if I sound like an idiot it's because I am but I can't even pronounce it so you'll see it come up below but this this is such good death doom like again it can make early comparisons to really old school death metal but it's got those kind of really chasmic sounding doomy sections that really give that really eerie feel of the old, old 90s death doom bands or the early death metal bands but again you know modern people that don't really understand like old school death metal and all that kind of thing like the young kids they'll probably compare this to um spectral voice or something like that because it's got that kind of similarities to it but yes it's really really good it comes on a green tape i think this has been repressed a number of times as well originally came out in 2019 or this version did anyway uh, I believe it was self released before that. And the J card, I must remember to do this. It comes looking like that. So you've got Fankies there, and inside a picture of the man himself. That's Brian Ortis, who's the guitarist for the Jibulba, or Big O, I think he also goes by that name. And he's an amazing like guitar player. If you like, if you know who Jibulba are, you already know, but if you don't know who they are, they're kind of like, he's got that kind of Crowbar, Kirk Weinstein kind of style of playing, but if you imagine Kirk get really fucked up, really drunk, and then you someone told him that Crowbar aren't the heaviest band in the world, you kind of get what Brian's guitar sound probably sounds like. That's the best description I can give you. But go check it out, because again, really good Death Doom, really enjoyed it. And like I said, I wanted to pay the big money because you cannot get that anywhere in the UK. So that's that one. And then he throw and then Jimmy throwed in an extra tape which I didn't pay for, so I'm really fucking grateful. 
So thank you mate for this, because this is what I wanted. And that is Swamp Witch with Dead Rituals. Now this is, was repressed again on a green tape, which I was gonna buy, but I didn't. But this one, he turned up in the bag on a silver tape, which, you know, it's not even on Discogs, this one, I don't believe. But this is really good sludgy doom metal. So the founder of the label, Jimmy, he sings on this. And he's in a few bands like Evolves as well. Um, these guys are based out of California. And this is really, really good swampy doom with kind of death metal elements in there, but it's more on the sludgy doom metal side. It's just really thick, but what I really liked was the guitar tone and the vocals. You know, it wasn't that really boring, stonery, doomy kind of sound that I just can't get into. This has a bit more bite to it, and the artwork is really cool as well. There's some lyrics in there. And yeah, if you haven't checked this out, Swamp Witch is well worth your time if you're into your thick, slimy death metal or doom metal. It's kind of got those two elements combined. And it just sounds massive. If you've got the bass turned up on your speakers, you'll know about it when you listen to this release. So yeah, can't recommend that one up, Swamp Witch. So thank you to Jimmy from Transylvania Recordings. Awesome label. Right, next one is a band from Arizona. This is an EP that came out last year. This was recommended to me by my friend Stephen on Facebook. He normally messages me because he's a really, really cool guy who collects literally everything in the metal world who lives in my city. I've only met him a handful of times at barbecues and at gigs because he, he's watched my band a number of times. But he has literally everything in his collection. He'd be one of those guys, if he started a YouTube channel, you know, he'd have hundreds of followers because he's just got such a ridiculous collection. And he told me to check out this band, and that is the band Exel. I believe this is a self-release from the band itself. I managed to pick this up from a distro here in the UK. And again, that's the tape, nothing fancy, just white with the band logo. But this is really good death metal with doomy elements to it as well. So I guess it's death doom, but I would say it's more death metal. Because it, when it goes, it goes. J card looks like that. But for an EP, this is fantastic. It's so good, like, it's so heavy. The production is spot on for the music, it really fits it. And I'm absolutely loving this. I've spun this so many times. This is one of those ones where I just can't get enough of. It's so good, really heavy, and I'm kind of gutted I didn't get this last year. Not even, I wasn't even aware of it, to be fair. So when Stephen told me about this, you know, very, very happy. And there's quite a few more he's recommended to me that I've had to buy, just to listen to them. And some of them aren't even on streaming services, so it makes you want to have it more, because you can't listen to it while you're out and about. Because I have Spotify, and a lot of these bands I can check out, but the old underground death metal stuff and the tapes, you can only listen to them on tape if they've only been released on that, so that's really cool. So yeah, go check out Exel, can't recommend that enough. Next two were done through the label Nuclear Winter Records, I believe. Yes. So they're a Greek label, and this is a Greek band. This is Dead Congregation. Um, if you don't know who Dead Congregation are, they are a band from Athens in Greece that have been around since maybe 2005, just before that. And they are one of those underground death metal bands that everyone likes that listens to death metal. They do everything you want. Pummeling vocals, guitar riffs, they can be really technical when they want to be, but they can also dial it down. And you know, it's just one of those bands that create that atmosphere that just sucks you right in and you're in for the whole album. You know, it's not odd tracks that you can get into, the whole album is always solid. And um, the label put out these two new tapes, so these are two 2021 presses. This one is the debut EP from them. This originally came out in 2005 called Putrefying Consecrated Ground. And these were numbered as 130, I've got number 24, I think, yeah. But it comes on this red shell, and this sounds killer, really, really good. As I say, this is their first full length, and is, um, yeah, just really killer. I have to read my notes, so if you keep seeing me look over there, there's just so much information to take in, I can't remember all, but well worth your time that one and then I also picked up the gold tape for uh, Graves of the Archangels which was their second release that came out in 2008. This is a step up from the previous one that's a bit more raw, a bit more um, aggressive whereas this one just pummels you to death. Proper in your face, really low end tones. See that's the tape there. The J card. I mean, these these arrived immaculate when they turned up. There was no scratches on the cases or anything. So you know, the label 
posted these really well. Um, and it's a label I need to check out some more because they have a lot of really cool stuff in there that I, I kind of glanced at. But you know, when you're spending so much money, you kind of have to kind of dial it down a bit. You can put loads in your basket, but then you have to start taking stuff out when it comes to purchasing things because you might accidentally buy stuff you probably can't afford, which I have done many times. So yeah, Dead Congregation, go check them out. An amazing death metal band. Next two are again directly from. Um, I think it's actually from Discogs, these two, uh, but they are from the label Extremely Rotten Productions out in Denmark. These are both Danish bands. The first one being, I'll try and pronounce this right, Kaoten. And this is Festering Excarnation, which is a confirmation of their first two demos. It comes on this green shell. I was really chuffed to find this because this was released last year through um, Misako and Oho Records. On vinyl, and I kind of just ignored it. I thought I'm not going to buy that; it's way too expensive for you know what is essentially two compilations. But when I found the tape version, this sounds spot on. And I'm really gutted I didn't listen to this last year because this is absolutely fantastic. Really riffy, all in your face. Great death metal. J card looks like this, which has a picture of the two EPs that was put together for this comp. And yeah, if you like you. Know, Danish death metal, there's so many good Danish death metal bands, there's no reason why you wouldn't like this one. They're, you know, they all have their own little style, but this one will just pummel you to death as well. Really good death metal. And the second one from Extremely Rotten Productions again, this is Sulfurous with their only full length, Dolorous Death Nail. I'm trying to pronounce that. This came out in 2018 and they're a two piece. Features members who have been in Undergang, uh, Hyperdontia, all the really good Danish death metal bands these two have been in, essentially. It comes on this gold cassette, and this is probably the, some of the most riffiest death metal you will find. It's Hooks Galore on this album. J card looks like that. Some cool artwork in there, always like that. And on the back there, tracks. And if you haven't checked these guys out, I strongly recommend it because the riffs, like I say, are just all over the place. I mean, it, my neck is going like that the whole time I listen to this. It's very rare that you, I can listen to an album and not headbang. And then if I, I don't headbang it, I pretty much think it's shit. But this, my neck's fucking killing me after I listen to this. It's so good. Well worth listening to. And I believe they put out a new EP or split this year. So worth checking out. So that's Sulfurous. I think that's pronounced. Go check it out. And the last one on my list is a 20 buck spin release that was released in 2019. They are from California and they are Vastum, which you probably won't be able to tell with that band logo, but that is that does say Vastum. And this is the album Official or Official Purge or something like that. Now, I wanted this ages ago last year. When I first got back into collecting again, roughly around March last year. I was listening to all sorts of bands and I found this one and I really really wanted it but I didn't buy it for whatever reason I kept finding something else to buy and I kept leaving it and leaving it and I thought I'll buy it and then it just vanished off Amazon, it vanished everywhere and then it became silly money. So when I saw the tape I thought fuck it I'm going to buy it before I never get it. It comes on this black cassette and they are a really really good death metal band. They kind of combined some more progressive elements to the death metal, so there's technical parts, and the vocal duties are split between a female guitar player who has this kind of black metal kind of style of vocal, and then they have a front man who does a really guttural, you know, caveman like death metal stuff, and they blend the two really well and kind of create this really cool atmosphere. And like I say, the riffs aren't, you know, predictable, they're really all over the place. There's black metal elements in there, it's very technical in the riffing, and if you're a guitar player, you'd understand. The dog's just walked in, so hopefully he doesn't knock the lights over. But yeah, the lyrics on the other side. So this this is really cool. If you haven't checked these guys out, again, strongly recommend you do, because they are a very good death metal band. I love to see them live, because I watched them on YouTube a few times, and they, they you know, put on a brilliant show. Very energetic. You know, a really cool death metal band. So that's Vastum. So that is a cassette update for you guys. I've got loads more coming. Because, like I say, they're just so affordable for me, and when I want so much new music, 
I can put them on while I'm working and they're only like 25 minutes long, 35 minutes long tops maybe on some of these. Um, you know, and it's just easy listening for me and it's just brilliant. Because I love vinyl and I love CDs still, you know, don't get me wrong, there'll be a vinyl update next after this one probably. But tapes in the moment are just so much fun and you know, I love it. So anyway, thanks for sticking with me this long. If you have, please check out my other videos if you haven't. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and liking this video below so it tells YouTube that it's cool. But until then, I will speak to you guys soon. Take care. Cheers.